Good morning, everyone. It's another Friday and another inspired layout. Now, this layout is from Katie Saylor. And this book is from 2011. I, I just love <clears throat> all of the pages. It's hard for me to pick and choose a layout. But I chose this one. It is simple, but oh, I love it. I love the simplicity of it. And okay, so that little piece I was showing you, I don't know if you could see it in the original layout, they have mesh over the pattern paper. I love that idea. I, I always forget, you know, what we used to do back in 2000. And, you know, it's been a while. And, yeah, they used to do this. And I love the texture on it. And it gives that little orange to make Braxton's um, swim shorts stand out. I had a hard time picking and choosing the paper I wanted because I needed something that will help make my photos pop. So I went with something that will be tropical because I, I'm pretty sure <clears throat> this is like under a bridge and you can go swimming and there's you could go fishing and the kids like to explore and walk around. It is the most beautiful, relaxing place, and I love going every summer. I love sitting in my lawn chair and sticking my feet in the water and just watching the kids play. Now, I will do some journaling because I'm pretty sure Braxton's eating a Lunchable. You can see it right there in his hand. And then he's just sitting there relaxing with his feet in. And then he's digging through that log, which <clears throat> he does that. You know, he likes to play. He's curious. So, <clears throat> using the dark blue background, my black ink pen, like in their layout, well, they have a green pattern. But when they outlined several times around the mat that I did, they could see, you could see their black lines, and I'm pretty sure they probably stitched, but, yep, I don't have my, see, you can hardly see it, I even get out my black marker, but it's running out, I may still, I mean, you could see it close up, I may still, um, what was I going to say, oh, buy a black sharpie, and try to make darker lines around. Now, since I did round my corners, my four corners, and now I am working with my title. Now, these letter thickers are some that Becky gave me, and I thought they worked wonderful with the photos because it brings out that brown from the water and the log. Now I just got to get it all to fit. <clears throat> and move it up, Kathy, because it's kind of... Hey, are you proud of me for using my T-square ruler earlier? <laughs> I used it to lay the one on the left paper down. I just need more practice in training myself to get it out and use it. You know, I just need to use it. Then I probably wouldn't... Well, I still have to rip stuff up. That's just me. <laughs> if it don't <clears throat> look good to my eye. I mean, I trust this T-square ruler, but... Now, there you can see a little bit, but I'm still... I need it to stand out better. So, I will still work on that. But it, you know, it does pop. It does help it pop. But, yeah, this layout went together pretty quickly. I absolutely love it. I, um, I'm, in fact, I'm going to find me another layout. I have chipboard <clears throat> on my desk, and I would like to find a layout where they're using chipboard. But, <clears throat> I don't know. 
we will see. Getting the I drug out these butterflies. I thought they went well with my layout. You guys, that's it. If you would like to support my channel, I would so appreciate it. We have a lot of new things coming out. Beautiful, nice collections. So I will see you next time with another video. Bye-bye.